Hi, I'm Levi. I'm a passionate adventurer whose mission is to find the most unique one night stays across America. Come along as we find innovative, awesome tiny houses, just like this one. This is Tiny B&B. Let's go explore. Welcome to the tree frame. This is a beautiful 455 square foot A-frame tree house in the state of Washington. Let's go check it out. Today we are at the tree frame here in Index, Washington. We've been here a couple times before and I love this area. I love this state because of the natural beauty it has. We are in a really good area because we're surrounded by mountains, forests, trees. This property is really nice. It is gated access so it's private and we even have river access which is really cool. We'll be getting to that later in this video. But we're here at the tree frame and this is a tiny house tree house that's perched 13 foot off of the ground bolted onto these four trees right here. Nelson Tree House has actually helped with the tree house aspect of this and the host built and designed this A-frame himself and it is just really cool looking. A unique design. I've seen this place all over the internet before and it is just phenomenal looking. So getting along with the tour, this is the back side and you'll walk up these steps up to your A-frame cabin and right here is the door you'll walk into. So let's walk in and check it out. When you walk inside, it is just so beautiful in here. This huge front wall of windows right here let in a lot of natural light and you get great views out of them. You overlook the back of the property and there's a small creek running through it. Huge trees everywhere, moss, it is just beautiful. You can't see anything else. It is all nature and privacy. So great views from there. You got the living room right here in the front. You gotta have a fireplace and you can see there's a small kitchen and a loft upstairs. Uh, and when you walk in through here, this living space is probably where you'll be hanging out the most uh, of your time at. The fireplace over here is really cozy. It is so easy to use. It is a gas fireplace. You just turn the knob so it is snowing right now. It is nice to have that fireplace on and get all cozy. You got a guitar here and a small chair you can sit at next to it. And then your living room space. You got the leather couch here. This can be converted into a small bed. This can sleep three people total, which is nice. There's a sliding door right here as well. You can walk outside onto the deck space. It's awesome that they have a deck space out here and there's a grill and a couple seats out here. The summer months, I would be sitting out there the entire time uh, just listening to the nature. It is so beautiful. And then right behind this, we got the kitchen space. For 455 square feet, this kitchen is pretty spacious, enough uh, space to walk around, and there is a ton of countertop space all the way around here. The sink right here with the golden accents is really nice. Deep, large sink for a tiny house. And then you got a ton more countertop space over here on the left. Drawers all the way around. White with the gold handles is nice. And back here is where you can make basically anything. You got a hot plate right here built into the countertop. You got an air fryer, which is nice. I have an air fryer at my house and I use that all the time. More Airbnbs. Uh, could use that. And then you got a microwave, but it's not just a microwave. This is also an oven. I didn't even know these existed. Last night when I was making some food, I decided to uh, try it out and it works exactly like an oven. So pretty nice to have. And then of course your uh, refrigerator right here. Coffee supplies, floating shelves above with bowls and plates, and this kitchen just has everything uh, you need. And now the last thing on this bottom floor is the bathroom back behind here. You'll instantly notice that this bathroom is a little bit special because when you walk in, the heated floor is warming up your feet. I have very cold feet right now and it was a pleasant surprise. So whenever you walk in here after a nice night of sleep, uh, the heated floors helps a lot. And also the toilet 
uh, seat is heated as well. So you got the toilet here, heated seat. You got the vanity right here in the middle. Gold accents continue and the huge window right here in front of you. Let's in some good natural lighting. And then your walk-in tiled shower. Look how much space there is whenever I'm standing in here for a tiny house. This is awesome. Glass windows, white tiling. They got the shampoo stuff hanging right here. Gold accents and you know, I'm about 5'10 in height and I'm nowhere close to the slanted wall. So tall people could enjoy their shower in here as well. And now the last space we have is the loft. One nice thing is that you can move this ladder if needed. It's on wheels at the bottom. So if I wanted to move it out of the way or something, I could move it, but I'll keep it where it was at. Up here is your loft space, your king size bed, right here in the top of the A-frame. Windows all around you, two skylights and windows behind you. I really like the feature of having small windows to open up behind the bed for some airflow because hot air rises. Uh, last night when I was sleeping, it circulated the air so nicely and I slept really great. And you get great views of the front of the A-frame uh, whenever you're up here. Now we can walk outside and explore the beautiful terrain, but right under the tree house is a really cool outdoor area. A couple seats here, giant uh, tree slice for the table, and then of course you got a hot tub right here uh, to enjoy. And the views right here are beautiful, being surrounded by the nature, and uh, you're being protected by the A-frame tree house. So if it's raining, you won't even get rained on. Really cool. You can see how uh, all the underneath works too, if you're interested in that. But there's lots to explore around here. Let's go. I made it down to the river. Very easy access. And look at the beauty here. The river is huge. Lots of rocks to walk around. I'm sure in the summer you can take a small dip if you want to get cooled off. This is just picture perfect right here. You couldn't ask for a better spot. It's gorgeous. You got to come here and experience it yourself. We are in Index, Washington. I just climbed a watchtower for some of the most beautiful views of the mountains around. And this is only one mile from the cabin we're staying at, the Cyclops Cabin. Let's go check it out. Today we're in the magical forests of the Pacific Northwest here at the Cyclops Cabin. I'm sure you can see why it's called the Cyclops Cabin. Huge round window, one of the biggest ones we've ever seen. This cabin is awesome. Today we are in Index, Washington, and this state is just beautiful. Mountains all around. There's a river not too far from here as well. The trees, the greenery, the ferns, just the setting that this cabin is set in is just phenomenal. If you've never been to Washington, I highly suggest it. I got really lucky. The sun was shining whenever I was staying here, and it's January. It is pretty cold here, but we're staying at the Cyclops cabin today. This is a tiny house. It is semi off grid, which is pretty cool. And just tucked along these trees. It's just amazing. When you pull up on the property, it's a gated community. You got some parking here in front of you. It is really quiet here. You can hear the river flowing. I can see it from here and you're got the mountains behind us. When you walk up on the stairs, you got a small front porch area, a couple seating options on this deck, string lights all the way around. I love the green exterior color with this wood. There's even a small pathway over here to walk up to a small fire pit area when there's not a fire ban, which is pretty cool. And let's head inside now and check out the interior. Walking into the Cyclops cabin, the first words that come to my mind are spacious and cozy. I love the wood everywhere, and this is just a perfect cabin for being here in the woods in the Pacific Northwest. And it is very spacious. If I had to guess, the walls are 12 foot wide, and that is important for a tiny house to uh, keep it uh, feeling not compact. And the open ceilings that lead up to the loft, that helps a lot too. So a huge open space helps a lot with this cabin. And this front side is where it all starts. This is your living room area, but the uh, eyepiece is definitely this round window over here. This is the largest round window we have ever seen on 
our channel. And they're pretty rare to begin with because they're expensive, they're really hard to put in and install and just make look good. But they did a phenomenal job with this. The craftsmanship uh, is top notch with this window. I love the black trim around it. They put it on the best wall they could because it features all the nature that we were highlighting uh, earlier. Check out the squirrel. It's so dark brown. It's not black. He's just chilling out on the tree. He's a little spastic. Oh, you can sit here on the couch in the living room and it faces the round window on purpose. Very nicely planned. Coffee table right here in front and then a window right here. I don't want this to go unnoticed. The walnut windowsill, I believe it's walnut. It looks great. You got some book uh, shelves above the couch space and overall this living room is really, really spacious. You can have plenty of room to walk around and then the rest of the cabin is here in front of me. Walking over to this side, we are underneath the loft space. I like how low the loft ceiling is here under the kitchen. Makes it feel cozier and nice and gives you more room up in the loft. But over here on this left side, the first thing really is your fireplace area, which is really cozy to have in these cold months. And behind it is the dining area. Small dining table right here with a couple seats. And on top of this, they have a map of the area you're at. And they even uh, locate you on the map right here. This is where we're located. Behind this, we got the fridge some shelving options with games and your other things that you might need for the kitchen space and then speaking of the kitchen we're only a couple steps away from it and it's right over here this kitchen space is pretty unique the window is right above the sink and it is a porthole style window it looks like they took it from a ship and uh, used it repurposed it for this kitchen window I love this it is so unique very eye-catching uh, they nailed it with the round window and then now this porthole window that you can probably open up which I haven't even tried yet great great creativity right there and it's right above the sink this is perfect for the tiny house the small sink the black I love and then the concrete countertop that matches uh, the pedestal that was for the fireplace and you're probably wondering how do you cook anything in here next to the fridge there was a hot plate that you can plug in you can just set it right here plug it in and now you have two uh, burners right here to cook anything that you need which is really handy I like that a lot so this is the kitchen space, really roomy. Right behind me is the door to the bathroom. Inside the bathroom, we have a tiled shower here on the right side. Same blue tiling as it was behind the fireplace. It is gorgeous, I really like that blue color. And then over here on the left side is your toilet space. Now, this toilet is unique. It is an incinerating toilet. If you don't know what that is, it sounds pretty intimidating. Uh, you sit on it and there's an active fire underneath you the whole time. No, I'm kidding. Whenever you use it, just like a regular bathroom, uh, you'll flush and then you press the button to start the incinerating process and it burns up everything uh, inside. To get to the loft, you got this ladder. I really like the craftsmanship of this ladder. Two uh, four by fours for the uh, arms and then they have cut out inlets for the steps. Really nicely done ladder and then we have the loft space up here. And up here, it's really simple. It is basically just your bed up here. Ceiling is plenty large enough. Uh, lots of space for my head and to uh, sleep in. Really comfortable bed. I don't say that at every place. This bed was really comfortable to me. 